In this video, I show how to make a tattoo embroidered kimono using different fabrics. This technique is a different way to make a beautiful design for any type of fabric. taken a lot of time because of all the color changes to do this, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. And I like the way it's turning out so far. Um, I changed the, the colors I was using a little bit. It's a little bit deeper than my original color combination. I like that better. So um, we will see. We've got uh, two more flowers to stitch out, and I will be posted on how it's going. Thanks. Okay, I'm ready to remove the embroidery hoop and cut the fabric away from my design here. So I'm loosening up the tab at the bottom of the hoop. And when it gets loose enough, then the whole thing comes off like this. So I've got tearaway stabilizer on here and I'm going to peel that off. Oops. You can go back and trim your threads close to the back of the fabric. Now, I want to cut the design, or excuse me, cut the fabric away from the design on the embroidery. So, there's three layers of fabric here there's the gingham, there's some tulle, and then my um, base fabric is a satin fabric. So, I'm going to cut them rather close to the embroidery but I don't want to cut through all the fabrics at once. I want to leave a layered look. So I'm just cutting through the gingham fabric to start with. So I want this one to be the closest to the design and then I will cut the tool a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go around each of my embroidery designs. If I unravel them with a brush, you can get a little more definition there, and it'll unravels, it washes a little bit too.
game. 